Welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Phineas Majon. With me here, I've got my friend Chanel. We're going to be together throughout the lesson. But before we go any further, we are supposed to start by sanitizing our hands. When you are sanitizing our hands, we are supposed to start by spraying inside the palm. After spraying inside the palm, we rub right round all the fingers. When you are done, we are supposed to maintain social distance. I think it's fine now. Today, we are focusing on lesson three, ordering and comparing numbers. Today's lesson is going to focus on comparing and ordering numbers. We are going to start with comparing numbers. We compare numbers to see which one is big, which one is small, or whether the numbers are of the same size. Basically, when we are comparing numbers, we use signs. These signs are the ones which we use. The first one here is called greater than. The second one is called less than. Then the last one is called equal to. We use greater than when you are starting with a big number followed by a smaller number. We use less than when you are starting with a smaller number followed by a bigger number. We use the equal sign when the numbers are of the same size. So basically, we are saying these signs greater than or less than. They are always pointing at a smaller number. I've got some examples which are here, which you are supposed to put some answers. Michelle, can you help us to come and put answers? At all the choppy pages, okay. Let us look at the work which, are, which she did. Here we are having 175 and we are having 50. We are starting with a bigger number here. Then followed by a smaller number. So we are using the first sign which is greater than. This is correct. Then the second one, we are starting with a smaller number followed by a bigger number. So we are using the less than sign. Here, these two numbers are equal of the same size. That is why we use the equal sign. Let us go to page 12. On page 12, you are having examples which are there. Compare the following by the use of greater than less than or equal to. Number one, we are having two and eight. We see that two is smaller than eight. So we are going to use the less than sign. Then let us go to number two. We are having eight two and sixty eight. By comparing the two numbers, we see that the first one is bigger than the second one. So we are going to use the bigger than sign. On number three, we are having 921 and 780. We will see that 921 is bigger than 780. Then on number four, we are having 7,234. 
and 7,324. When we are comparing these two numbers, we will see that they are also having, all having 7,000. Then the difference is on 200 and 300. So the second one is bigger than the first one. So we use the less than sign, which will be pointing at the smaller number there, which is beginning. Then on number five, we are having 15,219 and 15,219, which means the two numbers are equal. Let us now go to page 13. There's an activity there. I'll only do A, then you do the rest on your own. On A, we are having 25 and 23. We'll see that 25 is bigger than 23. Then you are supposed to do the other work on your own. Now we are focusing on ordering numbers. When you are ordering numbers, we are arranging numbers. So there are two ways of arranging numbers. You can arrange from the smallest to the biggest. And that is called ascending order. Then the other way of arranging numbers is descending order. When you are putting numbers in descending order, you are starting with the biggest to the smallest. Let us look at the numbers which are on the chalkboard. We are having 30, 15, 20, 5, 10, and 25. We are supposed to arrange those numbers in ascending order, meaning to say we are going to start from the smallest to the biggest. Chanel, can you come and arrange these numbers in ascending order? We start from here. Thank you very much. She did it very well. After arranging like this, you are supposed to see whether you managed to put all the numbers. Let us check the five is there. The 10 is there. 15 is there. 20 is there. 25 is there. 30 is there. If you look at these numbers, you see that their size is increasing as you go up. If you move from five to 10, it means these numbers are going up. That is what we do when you are putting numbers in ascending order. We are supposed to check and see whether their values are going up or are going down. Let us now go to descending. Descending order, we are starting from the biggest to the smallest. We are having the same numbers again, but this time we are starting from the biggest to the smallest. Can you come again? and put those numbers in descending order. Start from the biggest to the smallest.
Yeah, that's excellent. Thank you so much. Let us come here. You will see that our numbers are decreasing. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. So that is what we do when you are putting numbers in descending order. So you'll be able to see that descending order is the opposite of ascending order. Here we are starting from the biggest to the smallest. Here we are starting from the smallest to the biggest. Let us go to page 13. On page 13, we are supposed to arrange numbers in ascending order. The first example is having 10, 50, 30, 40, and 20. If you look at that example, you will be able to see that the smallest number there is 20, uh, is 10. Then from 10, you go to 20. From 20, 30. The following, 40. Then finally, we go to, to 50. If you go to B, we are having 234, 238, 240, 236, 232. So the smallest number there will be 232, followed by 234, 236, 238, then the last one will be 240. Then on C, the first number is 1,000, second one, 5,000, third one, 3,000, 4,000, and finally, 2,000. Then the smallest number there is 1,000, followed by 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. So if you look at the pattern of those numbers, they are all going up. Then the last one is 15,000, 937, 17,213, 16,000, and 89, 18,123, then the last one, 20,145. So the smallest number there will be 15,987, followed by 16,000, and 89, then we go to 17,213, 18,123, then the last one will be 20,145. So now we are done with ascending order. Our next examples now are going to focus on descending order. Descending means we are arranging numbers from the biggest to the smallest. Our first example is having 1, 7, 5, 9, 8, and 15. So from there, the biggest number will be 15, the second one, 9, 8, 5, then finally go to, to 1. Let us go to the next page, which is page, page 14. On page 14, we are having 516, 599, 450, 345, 489. Now we want to select the biggest. The biggest number there. The biggest number is supposed to be 599 followed by 560 followed by 489 then you got 450, the last one is 345. Number C, 
We are also putting it in descending order. We will start with the biggest number, which is 42,763, followed by 27,114, 16,978, then the last one will be 9,627. Then we are having activity two. On activity two, we are going to do number one together, then you are going to do the rest on your own. On number one, we are supposed to put the number in ascending order. Meaning to say, you are supposed to start from the smallest to the biggest. So the smallest number there is 12, followed by 14, then you go to 16, 18, 20. When you are done with activity two, you are having our memorandum on page 15. That one will help you to come up to check whether your answers are correct or wrong. We have come to the end of our lesson. So now let us sanitize our hands. Just maintain social distance. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Shoshi and I am Peck. My mommy used to tell me that um, I need to wash my hands and sanitize it to keep the germs away. Also one thing you can remember is to sing the alphabet song while you wash your hands. Uh, after that it will be super clean. I usually do it. Until next time, bye!